Afternoon. Seven with six Delta Mike here with you in Charlotte, North Carolina. The ATR 72600. I'm going to try to do a little flight over to Myrtle Beach. I'm going to do this as kind of a test flight. I'm not going to fly VAT SIM. We are running FSLTL. A little traffic here in the area. This is mostly uh, a test flight uh, post the recent update in Microsoft for the ATR. We're running a American Airlines delivery here. This is a fictional livery, so it's not 100% legit in terms of did this actually fly, but it's good looking. Uh, it's American Eagle. It is the 72600. Uh, tail number November 434 AE. Will be American 716 for the flight or call sign. And let's uh, just see what we got here. So this is our plan for today. Charlotte to Myrtle Beach for the AT-76. We'll be cruising at uh, 17,000 feet. We're going to be carrying about 3,800 pounds of fuel, 3,829. Truck fuel expected uh, 1,114 with the continuous minimums uh, for 15 minutes out of 383. Alternates uh, back to Charlotte, looks like, uh, is another 1147 with Fenris 824. So that'll give us uh, total block fuel 3824. We'll have a uh, trip and taxi fuel of 1474 uh, with Fenris and alternates of 1972. That gives us our 3829. Route out of here will be departing 18 left on the Queen 4 departure unjammed transition and then direct over to Myrtle Beach. Uh, we'll plan for 18 uh, arrival there on runway 18 in the Myrtle Beach. And yeah, passengers 47, cargo 2015 or 2115, total payload 7,896, zero fuel weight 36,578, and takeoff weight there 40,047 pounds. So that is the flight plan. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at four flight then. So this is our route, uh, what it looks like. Be flying, departing out to the south on the uh, Queen 4 departure to Unjam and then east over to Myrtle Beach. Uh, so there's our route. We need to set this for 17,000 because that's going to be our cruise level here. All right, let's get that off the screen and let's jump in the cockpit, shall we? Uh, fly pad here. Let's get our aircraft opened up here. So we're going to need some ground power connected. Go ahead and get the main door and the tail prop in place. And we'll go ahead and get the cargo doors open. So we can start getting uh, things prepped here. We're going to go up top now. We're going to put our battery in the on position. Give that a minute to start coming to life. Go ahead and get this yoke out of our way here. I have not flown this thing enough to know where all the lighting is to get some lights on in this place, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go. I am going to go ahead and turn our nav light to the on position though for now. And as soon as our screens come up here, let's double check out here. Do we have nav lights on? Doesn't look like it. We're probably going to have to have ground power before we get those. All right, there comes our screens coming to life. So let's go up top here and get our ground power on. External power on and available now. And now we do have nav lights on the outside. There we go. All right. So what else can we do up top? We can get our glue pump, auxiliary pump, and green oxygen pump there. We'll go ahead and turn on our AC wild power. We'll get our AC wild gen one on and gen two on. Windshield heats can come on. We'll wait on our pedal heat. We do want our oxygen supply for the main cabin on. And we are going to set our prop brake here to the on position as well nav lights on we'll get our logo light on and fuel pumps can come on shortly but we're going to need to refuel here so <clears throat> i don't know how this is going to work i think we can request refueling 
refueling truck is on its way. Let's see what happens. I think now we're going to need to probably do a couple of things here. Let's get our sim brief in here. So we are American 716. We're an AT-76 departing out of Charlotte. 748 feet in landing in Myrtle Beach. Elevation there, 25 feet. Alternate is back to Charlotte. We're going to cruise at 170. There'll be no cost index. Flight time about 43 minutes. Here's our route we've already talked about. We've got our block fuel here, 3829. We're going to use this here just in a minute to get our zero fuel weight set here because uh, I don't believe the fly pad does anything in terms of... Fuel truck is in position. Yeah, so fuel truck is in position. We're going to do this custom, and then we're going to go back here, and we're going to pull up the menu here, and we're going to set our fuel loads here. So we want 38.29, and we are currently 56 here, so we need to reduce the fuel. 38, that's so close right there, we won't even worry about it. That's within just a few pounds. And then zero fuel weight then. Cargo, so we need a takeoff weight of 40,047, and we're 47 right now, so we're going to need to adjust our payload down. Uh, 40,047 pounds. We're going to put it right here because that's going to burn off just a little bit of fuel on our taxi. So that's should, we're going to call that close enough set here. And actually, we need to do this differently because I actually needed to be in pounds, but we're still correct. All right, so gallon is not pounds, so that's going to give us 1915.8. So, yeah, looking good there. All right, weights and balances set, fuel set. So that should get us uh, covered. What is that going to do to the fuel truck? I think the fuel truck then has already departed. So fuel is set in the aircraft. Uh, fuel used. Fuel on board is not yet showing. All right. All right, let's get back up top here and see what we can accomplish. And we also would like to get GSX to go ahead and request our boarding, boarding here. Requested. And we are going to try to find some lighting here. So this is not going to be lights, dome lights here. Main cabin lighting on. There we go. That got us some bright lights in here. All right, we're going to go down here to the FMC now. Crew? Uh, nobody. We've already got the crew on board, so we'll go FMS. Initialization. Pause in it. We'll take our GPS position. We'll put that there. Let's uh, return here and nav data. Nav data looks good and is current. And flight plan in it and route and we will be out of KCLT uh, going over to Myrtle Beach KM uh, MYR uh, let's put that right here there we go and execute and then we're gonna be departing out of here uh, runway 18 left on the what was that Queens Queens 4 and the unjam transition and execute here. Then we're going to be arriving in the Myrtle Beach on the ILS for 1-8. No transitions here, we'll execute here. And then we need to clean up some things here. So we got a disco here, we wanna clear. We'll be manual here, so that's gonna be vectors. Uh, then we'll be humpy. Uh, and we got a disco here, we wanna clear. Unjam is the end of that and then this will be the beginning of our ILS here. So there we go. One eight left. We got manual, so that's our vectors. All right, flight plan. I'm gonna say it's looking good. Uh, perf. So takeoff performance. Let's go over here and look at performance here. And I need to figure out payload here. How does this work? Empty weight, zero fuel weight. How do I set? Oh, I know how we do this. Let's get back down here, back to the menu. Initialization, let's go with weights here. Here we go, this is where we're gonna set our zero fuel weight. 
Uh, so let's go payload. Zero fuel weight is going to be 36,578. 36,578. So we'll put that here. Fuel on board is going to be 38,29, but that's not exactly right. We went with... 38.32. Is that will that automatically adjust? It will not. So 38.32. We'll set there. There we go. So that's going to give us a gross weight of 40,000. So takeoff CG is 25.6. We need an up trim of 1.2. So let's go ahead and put in an up trim of 1.2. Oop, passed it. All right, there's an up trim of 1.2 set. Uh, all right, so that's got our reserves in there. All right, so what can we do now if we go over here? Yeah, look here. So this information now populated. Uh, we'll hit set, and that gives us VMO. All right, that's looking good. So performance now should give us a V1 of 104, 104, and 110. One hundred four, one hundred four, and one hundred ten. All right, cruise today is going to be one seven seventeen thousand two three, and we'll plug that right here, and that should look good. Weights are already set. Fuel flows currently are nothing. Return, return. Got our flight plans already in there. Return, return, we'll take this to our flight plan. That's looking good. Break two, perf. That, so there's our takeoff, our cruise. All right, so we could put in some information here. So let's go back here and let's plug in weather. Our top of climb and average wind. So mean wind right here would be average. So we want to go 282 at 12. Do we plug that here? Yep, looks like we do. Uh, Cruise 17,000. All right, that's looking good. Go next, approach, all right, 18,000. Our Q&H there in Myrtle Beach. Currently, we need to reset this uh, probably as we get over there, but it's currently 3019. Go ahead and plug that for now. Transition altitude is 18,000. This is our V rep. It'll be a V up speeds over here. Flaps plan for landing pool. We'll not worry about that right now. So we're more worried about takeoff here. So we got a runway length 8,683 feet on a 175 degree heading. All right, V1, 104, 104, 110. All right, that's looking good. Go back to our flight plan here. Let's close this out. 104, 104, that's looking good. Required runway length here says we need 2060. Yeah, so we're good there. Aircraft is still set here. I believe everything is mostly loaded. Yep, they're loading up the baggage here as we speak. All right, what else do we need to do up here? Let's get our Gen 1s and 2 on. They will show fault for now. This are connected. Let's uh, go ahead and run through our test here. All right, and scoop test now. And scoop test now. All right. All right, it's already finished fuel. Let's go ahead and turn our fuel pumps to the own and run. Uh, all right, and that's Captain's wiper. We're going to hold off on our beacon and strobes and lights for the moment. We'll get our no devices on. As soon as people get set in, we'll go ahead and arm our um, emergency lights. Uh, bleeds are in the fault position. Crew oxygen is already on. We've got our windshield heat already on. All right, I think... I think we're in pretty good shape to go ahead and get our 
Right side of the engine started here momentarily and get the door shut. Uh, we do need to take a look at our autopilot panel, though, I think. So let's study for just a minute. Uh, departing 1 8 left is our plan, which is going to be a super short taxi. 1 8 left. We need 1 8 3 degrees on the heading. So let me do a couple of things here. Let's get our SPAD.next running, should we? Cancel that, dismiss that, and what profile are we running? We are running the CRJ. I don't think that's what we want. ATR multi panel activate. I think this will give us mostly what we want. And let's see if we're getting heading bugs. Yep, we are. All right, so the heading we want is 183. So let's go ahead and dial that around to 183, which will be to the left here. So there's a heading of 183. We will select heading mode, which will give us heading select here on our departure. And if I study my chart here real quick uh, for my departure, what is that going to give me here? Because I think we're going to be off the ground. Our top altitude is 8,000, so we want to set that as well. So we'll style in 8,000 here, and you'll see that in blue right up here as I tune this. I'm going to preset 8,000. There's 8,000, and I believe we want to go ahead and climb indicated airspeed. So we'll take indicated airspeed, and we want to set that to probably 150, 160 knots maybe. So flight panel is set to be heading select and indicated airspeed and we're going to be queen four heading 183 then radar vectors until we're out of here so so just a straight out and then we'll be direct humpy after that we'll just vector ourselves. Two, that is set. We'll be looking like here they're loading the last of the bags. So why don't we go ahead and go up top and we're going to start our right side with the engine brake on. This will be hotel mode. So we got the engine brake confirmed. Prop brake is set. Let's go ahead and go beacon lot to the on position. We'll take our starter here. We'll go to both A and B. And let's verify that we are in the cutoff position. We are. Parking brake is set. Flaps are in the up position. Just verify both of these are down. They are indeed. And what else did I need to set? I think I need to set a squawk here. So we need to get nav here. All right, I don't think we want nav, we want comps. No, we want, here we go. So how do I want to set a squawk here? I want to set a squawk right here and we'll just say 2200. Negative, not right there. Two, two, zero, zero, enter. There we go. Squawk in 2200. We're on standby transponder one. He casts on auto. All right, sounds like we're boarding complete. All right, then let's go ahead and get this cargo door shut. We'll get our main door shut. We'll get our tail prop off and we'll get our wheel chalk off. 
Okay, let's go ahead and start number two. So, number two start. Should start to see rotation in N1 here. There we go. And then we'll go to here, and we should be able to go to the auto or to other, which we should then see the engine go ahead and spool up here. See that stabilize. Now, this has been my Achilles heel in this plane so far is the transition. So, this should be acting as the APU. And I'm getting an air bleed one. Engine bleed one fault. DC two GN. Why is my DC two GN not kicked in? Alright, there's my bleed one fault. Bleed air is set. This is the piece I'm missing. I don't understand because if I take ground power off right now, I feel like I'm going to lose power. Maybe I need to do this. No. But see, we did lose. See, I don't understand. But now we have that on. Maybe that needs to be off. We'll let, let these come back on. Not really sure why that does that. So we're off of ground power. We're going to go ahead and take our starter back to the off position for now. This should essentially be functioning us as an APU so we should have some this engine should be running and I see the heat exhaust here so that's good I don't think we can request pushback because I think G yeah, GSX Pro doesn't like this but fair enough we have all of our avionics back in play here so all right so what we're gonna do is turn our prop brake off should let that prop start spinning Yep, and then we are going to go to auto. Just going to go ahead and taxi ourselves out of here so this one should spool up and stabilize. Yep, I can hear it. All right. We're going to go ahead now and start the left side. So we're going to go to B here and we'll go start. Getting rotation here. 9, 10, 12, and feather. And auto. Here we go. sure what happened to our right side over here all right we'll go ahead and get our probe heats on we have lost this right side not really sure what I did wrong here but I probably did do something wrong here we are still heading select indicated airspeed 168,000 is still set we do need to remove the ground power there 
you know what that was probably it when I went to remove that then I should have removed the ground power that probably would have taken these engine faults off and let's go ahead and set that and honestly I think we're ready for a taxi here so we can get our taxi lot to the own position get our seat belts also on So super interesting to understand why that went out. I don't understand. But we're going to do the best we can here. Uh, what else do I have here? So I've got... D. There we go. And range... Out. There we go. Get a little bit of lights on here. All right. Nose wheel steering. We will have on. All right. We're just going to make a right turn and get ourselves out of here. So let's uh, figure out where we are here on the ground. Let's go, Charlotte, and let's show, show plate, diagram, and make sure that we have. location here all right here we go this is what we're looking like so we're departing off 18 left which you can see is just right behind us so we're gonna take uh, Charlie 12 which should be just to our right over here and then the runway is right here behind us so that's what we're gonna do all right Need to do one other thing here. We do need to get our flaps. There's our flaps in position. I'm going to go ahead and get our gust lock off. And parking brake is coming off. And here we go. We're moving. Taxi over here. <clears throat> this is the hold short for one eight left here. So we will hold short here. Runway one eight left. All right, and we'll set our parking brake, and we're going to go up to the top here. We want to get some landing lights on, strobe lights on. Uh, we don't need a wing light on for this. Boom, 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 boom. I think this is what I needed to do. There we go. I still don't know why that's out, but we are going to depart anyway. Not that that would be a safe thing to do, but... Alright, so if I go to... Oh. Procedures. Here we go. And 
and I won't. It's a little tricky here on how this thing works. That's not how I wanted it to work. It's trying to get to my before takeoff checklist here. Normal procedures, enter. Or takeoff checklist. Takeoff briefing, good. Gus lock, remove. Flight controls, check. Transponder, TCAS, check. Boost function as required. Airflow, normal. Cabin crew advise. Engine bleed as required. External lights, very good. And rudder cam center. Procedure completed. Normal. And then we'll go ahead and get to an after takeoff here for in the minute. All right. Lights are on. Flaps are set. All right, here we go. Parking brake is off. Let's go ahead and take the runway here. Did that every time. Leave that up. I apologize. Approaching runway one eight left. Hundred feet remaining. Heading select indicated airspeed set. One hundred sixty knots. Stop her here. All right, here we go. Takeoff power is coming in. Oop, and we need to look look down. It's hard to look down and set those throttles here. I gotta find those detents. Hundred one oh four. We go. We're up. We're flying. All right. Positive rate gears coming up. All right. We are going to try to gain a little bit of speed here. Flying our heading of one eight zero. Three. Not climbing super fast yet. We're trying to get up to our speed of 160. All right, we'll go flaps in. Pilot on. Y'all damper on. Gonna be aiming for 160 knots on the climb. And we're gonna go to climb power now. And this should be at notch. We are at notch. So you should have seen, you probably saw a notch indicated right there, ready to go. Alright, so now we want to go humpy. So can we do direct to humpy and execute that and autopilot panel and nav mode and we're now LNAV IAS. We could possibly go in BNAV, but I'm just going to stay in indicated airspeed for now on our climb out. We are direct humpy. Kind of in the soup here. We'll go ahead and turn some anti-ice on. I don't think we really need it, but...
All right, we are in continuous, we're in climb mode here. So after takeoff, let's go ahead and hit enter. Uh, enter. Landing gears up, flaps zero. Yes, they are. Power management to climb, checked. Engine bleeds on. Yep. Taxi and takeoff lights off. Check. Altimeters check. Put our magic B key because I don't think I actually did that a while ago. And procedure complete. All right. Looks like we're going to break out of this here momentarily. How are we looking here? We're still doing good on speed right now. Perf. Cruise. All right, there's our nearly 8,000, but we will go ahead and dial up our uh, Let's go ahead and dial up our 17,000. All right, there's 17,000 set. We're still in indicated airspeed mode. Breakout is complete. Let's go ahead and get some of this anti-ice off now. So we are not going to need that. Is synced up here. System's looking good. So we get our bearing one, bearing two on. Got to do this. Take off data confirmed. Yeah, we need to fly this thing some more to get used to it. And our map. well please so far a couple little startup procedures I need to iron out in my head on how we transition from ground power over to APU so to speak getting that started with the engine brake is fine I should be able to disconnect power and not lose avionics I've done this before but post update that's given me a problem but it's more than likely my problem my fault Checking out our speed. We're still at 160 on the climb. Coming up through almost 12,000 now. Our ground speed of about 200 knots. Yeah, 198. So I'm not doing too bad on the climb here. 
I need to do some studying to figure out what the actual climb speed for this is for, you know, what's uh, VY and what does it really need to be. I just did a, a 160 because I didn't think that would be too slow. We could probably bump it up to like 180, climb a little, but we're only climbing at a little over, what are we, 1300 feet per minute or so, 12, 1300. So. Pretty good performance right here. I'm gonna take it that and say 160 for now is, is a, an acceptable uh, speed to climb out at. Uh, so we should have been able to tune 22.8 here, which I didn't do. 22.8. that over there. We're not on bat sim though, but and we can go ADF and D. We could do weather or terrain, PFD. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But I'll go back to off on that because I like this better. No device and seatbelt signs are on. We'll get up to 17,000. We'll turn the seatbelt signs off. And then we're going to have to figure out our vertical uh, BNAV information here. So if we go to BNAV, 17,000 is our selected altitude. Destination Q and H would be three zero one nine uh, set here, which is not going to take elevation of twenty two feet. Flight plan. Do we have altitudes on any of these? This is the key here. So let's look at a procedure. I'm going to pull this up again. Approach. Remind me to turn this off. Uh, the ILS for 18. Destination 8 is 123.925. I feel like we can go to UXDP. Add to route. Alright, I think we're getting close to cruise. Alright, so we want to be UXDP between 45 and 2000. We'll intercept. Go for 2500 or 2000 above 2000. There we go. So it's already got that in. So maybe that'll be used for calculation then. And Bavet, uh, which would be 1600. Uh, there it is. So honestly, VNAV should do VNAV things right now. It should work. It looks like that information is in there. We'll turn this back off. We're going to go up here. 1,000 to go. So we're coming up on our 17,000. Getting into our cruise configuration here. another 400 feet and then what we'll do is we'll actually go to cruise power management all right so I'm gonna call that 17 so let's go ahead and cruise. Altitude captured. Now we want to look at VNAV here, 17,000. Let's clear this out here. Destinations. Flight plans, 
So unjam nothing but UD, UXDP. We want to be above 2000. I feel like I want to be at about 200 knots right here. Because that's pretty close to the airport. We'll be intercepting the ILS there. And our ILS is going to be 109.5 and of course a 177. 1095. What do I got for radios here? So here we go. So we can go ILS. And come to uh, now. So here we go. I'm going to say 109. Five. Set. That did not work, did it? Interesting. All right, let's try it this way. So we can go with 109.5. There's 109.5. So that works, 109.5. Heading bug can be here. And I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this for now, how much longer do I got on this course and heading before we make it? Not long. After we make the turn, we'll go into heading mode. We'll change our course and get lined up on the ILS thing. because you have to use these knobs here because you can see we are on FM and you gotta actually rotate that one to VOR ILS and then we can set our course. Heading bug, push sync right here. Also, something I learned, I, I have been fighting the since the last update, I was fighting all of my click spots being in the wrong location. Turns out a setting in your graphics called lens correction. Turn that off. If that's on, that nearly jacks up with the click spots. You turn that on, off, and all of a sudden, all your click spots are back to like they used to be. So, lesson learned there. All right, why don't we go ahead and turn our seatbelt signs off because we're at cruise altitude here and everything's kind of stable. And we'll ding the cabin and tell them it should be right there. They can turn off the seatbelts. We're going to be making a left-hand turn here very soon. Oh, looky here. Top of descent. It's actually VNAV things. It, it's definitely already calculated. Uh, so that's it knows where our top of descent is. We got our ILS tuned to 109.5. The only thing I'm missing is setting our course heading right now or that ILS, which is 177, but I think I can't really do it in this mode. So we're gonna do a little trick here and I'll show you what we're gonna do shortly after we make the turn, which is coming up any minute now. We'll be making a turn to the east. We headed out that way toward the ocean. I am liking the ATR. Uh, some things to learn. Really wish I understood why this went off. I got nothing here. That's I don't know if there's a failure simulated there or what, but that definitely did it something. All right, here comes our left turn uh, to the east. <clears throat> we'll head on over to Myrtle Beach and you can see it won't be long to our top of descent. We do got an aircraft out here in front of us, so I think I saw that while I go. Yep, there he is. I've got him visual here. You can see my mouse. He's about 5,000 feet above us, so no factor. All right, let's go ahead and heading bud sink. Let's get that moved around here. That's close. We'll Go 
ahead and line up our heading mode here. Let's let the plane settle into its course here, and then we're going to do... All right, that looks good. So we are now tracking our FMS here. Let's make sure we stay on line here. The plane's going to bank back just a little bit to the right, I think. Lined up good on course. All right, I think we're going to be calling it pretty close. So what I'm going to do is make sure my heading bug is synced. I'm going to go right here, heading bug sync. I'm going into heading mode. Now you'll see heading select, and I'm going to take this little knob and turn it over to ILS, which you can now see. ILS 1095 and a course is set to 360 but we need a course of 177 so I'm going to dial a course of 177 seriously off by one degree seven 177 and then I'm going to go back here and we'll put this in FM mode and go back to nav mode and now we're following our magenta line, but as we come down close, we will be set up to intercept the ILS, just as we're expecting. All right, our top of descent, uh, what is our distance on these rings here right now? Because it's just outside of that ring. I just don't know what our distance currently is. Is that 40 miles? Top of descent is 40 miles. Yeah, look at there. All right. So that worked out. So we won't be too far from our top of descent here. Let's go ahead and set 1095 and standby here as well. I'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Uh, it never fails that you get a phone call when you're flying a flight sim. All right, so top of descent is still in front of us. We do want to look at... Let's go back to our flight plan. 2,000 feet, I believe, is what we're going to want to set. So... I think I can dial... 2000 in here. Yep, and it won't drop us yet. So. This is interesting. I'm not sure why this is changing like that. So if I'm moving my dial, the top of descent is really changing here. So maybe I'll just leave it for a minute. Until we reach our top of descent. 18 miles data. Should have been able to say top of descent, and then VNAV should give me target vertical speed also. miles. All right, we're also going to set our descent rate at about, we'll pick up some speed here on our way down on purpose, so. making about 282 over the ground right now. 281. True airspeed 270 indicated about 206. We do have a tailwind right now, so. We're gonna to try to descend at 250 knots, and then we'll bring it back as needed. 10 miles to our top of descent. I haven't really figured out how I could set that. I wish that me moving my altitude was not pushing that top of descent. You see what it's doing? It's pushing my top of descent out. It moves this as I do so. But we will see what happens here. So, what is our altimeter in Myrtle Beach right now is also 3019 so 3019 is set We're seven miles from our top of descent through transition altitude. Huh? Why are we climbing? That's really interesting. We shouldn't be. Altitude hold. That was really weird that that just started doing a thing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bring our altitude down now. We're going to set 2,000. Also losing speed, looks like. All right, there's 2,000 set. We're going to go autopilot. Indicated airspeed. Nose is going to drop. And we are going to head ourselves downward here. And I'm not sure 
how this is going to work, but we should start to see a vertical speed required. But I'm going to have to take a stab at it and say, let's pull our throttles back here. It's just set to V now, then. V nav. Indicated airspeed, I wanted to go to 250 knots on the descent. Let's see what happens. Landing elevation set here. We've got, oh, we can go ahead and say manual. Now we just want to go auto. Alright, so we'll go enter. Decision height. Where am I going to set that at? Ah, right, here we go. Decision height. Decision altitude. Decision height is going to be 200 feet. There's 200 feet. Decision altitude would be, uh, this would be good. So we should be looking at that. Uh, touchdown elevation here would be 23, so 223. Let's call it 230, but we're gonna go ahead and set back to decision height of 200. So 250 is where we're set. That's right on the edge. We're gonna bring that, we're gonna dial that back to about 240. Go ahead and go idle. Rest and let the plane do its thing. Now we're, gonna, we're losing speed now, so we're gonna go ahead and don't really like the way the autopilot quite works in vertical modes here, but I'm gonna do the best we can to manage it. I see no reason of taking advantage, not taking advantage of gaining some speed on our descent, as long as we're getting down at the rate that we need to. So we'll try to shoot for 240 knots, getting down to 2,000 feet. Don't feel like VNAV mode is quite really doing what it ought to do. At least in my opinion. There's 241 though. We'll pull it back just a little bit here, try to keep our speed from creeping up any higher than 240. to X that step. Speed's creeping up on us here. We're going to pull it back just a little bit more. I 
think what I'm going to do is now go off of VNAV and go to indicated airspeed. Pull the throttles back to idle, and the plane should pitch for 220 if I set it to 220 or 230. Two hundred thirty knots. Speed's coming back. Coming through ten thousand. Let's go ahead and get some lights on here. Coming through ten thousand. All right, it's looking good. Seatbelt signs are going to come back to the own position. And flight attendants, once you go ahead and prepare the cabin for arrival in the Myrtle Beach. 230 knots, we're at idle. And we're gonna give flaps uh, 15 at 185 knots, looks like, so. Charlie below in 8.0. Let's go ahead and go to 220. Try to get ourselves down here. Don't have any spoilers, I don't believe, so we gotta just uh, let her come back slowly. Still needing to get down to 2,000. I think we're going to possibly do some heading, going to do some possible vectoring of ourselves, but let's see how we're coming on down. We're still coming down at nearly 2,000 feet. We're not bad shape yet. Uh, we're going to need 2,000. That should get us passing through 68. Might have to go into heading mode here to lose some spit altitude, I think. Yep, we are. So we're not going to get down fast enough here. So we're going to go heading select. And we are going to go left to about 270 maybe? No. Left to 090. Class Delta below in 12.1 miles. Keep vectoring ourselves here for a minute to lose some altitude. Come back in and intercept. All right, we're going to go to VOR mode here. Yeah, not very not very satisfied with VNAV in this aircraft, but right, visual on the runway, basically right across here would be the runway. So we're going to just pass by and come in and vector ourselves back. Uh, we're still descending down at 220 knots. We're coming up about 4,000 now. I see the glide slope here, so we've got to get down below that. So we'll start to... Uh, basically bring a left turn back to 270 here in a minute to intercept I think we should be in pretty good shape to do so here so we'll just start our left turn now back to 270 Seven zero set for now. And we're coming up on our altitude. There's 2600. As we level off, we'll have to add back a little bit of throttles here. So we're going to go ahead and bring, bring throttles back in a little bit. Seventy. So back to we're gonna go ahead and go left turn to two zero zero. I think two ten. We'll go to two ten. That should get us a pretty decent intercept here 
of the ILS. So we got the ILS, we got the VOR. Speed's coming back, so we're going to add a little bit of power here. Leveling off here. Set our indicated airspeed now to about 180. And what is our data for approach? 101 in full flaps. Right, to go approach, we need down to 185. So let's go ahead and tune 185 in our speed bug here. Charlie in 5.2 miles. All right, we are on an intercept course now. We will go nav mode. That'll give us a localizer to capture. We should capture here soon. Let's go ahead and get the speed coming back here. Localizer's moving. We should be left turning here any moment. Let's go approach mode. There's the plane turning left. All right, we can go flaps to the first notch because we're below the 185. We'll go ahead and go gear down. All right, I got the runway in sight in front of us. And we can go below 150, we can go full flaps. ahead and go full flaps now. We'll keep a little bit of power in here. We're looking for about 101, I think it was. Set uh, at 110 uh, 106 actually there we go. adding a little power we got ourselves slowed down a little too soon here but we're in good shape we did get a good intercept uh, kind of see what we did there we made a circle and come back in and intercepted the ILS Flaps are full. Gear is down. Lights are on. Ready. Just gotta get to our target speed. About 106. And we have 106 bugged here in the top left. And this is our marker here, so. Autopilot is still engaged. And we are coming toward the glide slope here. Still at Right at 2,000 feet. We got fully configured a little early. We're going to be all right with it. Arrival briefing procedure complete. All right, I believe we just intercepted the glide slope, and we have. All right, so now we want to start bringing our power back here a little bit, get our speeds under control, because we're needing about 106. All right, so we're idle right now. I believe that's kind of the way I've heard a few other people say you almost have to go out, throttles idle to get down to your speeds here. 30. We're still losing airspeed. All right. 
Autopilot's off. It's my airplane. Try to just fly her in here. It's still looking pretty good. Final runway 1A. Two mile final, we're continuing right on down. A little gusty. Trim here, get our speed unchecked. Need to go idle here. Lose a little altitude. Power for altitude, pitch for speed, always remember. Continue. One hundred. Continue. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. There she's idle. Ten. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to stay out of the reversers for now. And here we go, reverse. And out of the reverse. There we go. What a beautiful landing that was. I will take that all day long. Call that success. Welcome to Myrtle Beach from Charlotte. Flight time was 46 minutes, 59, so 47 minutes for the flight. We're going to clear the runway here. All right, we'll park her right here. We'll set the parking brake. And... Got that left wing there. All right, let's go back up here. We'll go. Oh, I don't know why that's back on. That should not have happened, but we'll go ahead and say flaps are in the up position. And we'll get our landing lights to the off position here. So taxi lights can stay on. Beacon light can come off. This should have definitely been in the off position. So that was my bad there. All right. Parking brakes off. Let's take her to the ramp. All in all, pretty happy with the ATR. A couple little quirks. I'm not satisfied with VNAV at all. That's me. You can manage it though. Uh, clearly, indicated airspeed's a good way to just manage your descent. Hit the speed you want and with the throttles and let her let her go down. Welcome to Myrtle Beach. 
don't know where we need to actually go here. Like we got an American CRJ over here. Let's see where he's going. We might follow him. Let's see what case he's parking at. He's going right, so we're going to go over there as well. Assume that that's where American's going to park. We're going to park right next to him. there and parking brake can be set and then we want to go upside engine down to feather right side down to feather and then we can go prop brake to the own position and that'll do that and we will take left side engine and go cut off right side engine should still be running uh, which looks like we probably are we're still green so prop brake did engage yep all right that's going to give us that let's go back to the aircraft now oh come on there we go let's go ahead and request some ground power and then once ground power is in place it looks like it is the engines to yeah 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 yeah, yeah yeah all right so we're gonna go external power oh and available there we got ground power is now on and we can take right side now and we'll bring that to shut off and we do want to get our taxi lights off and we can get our strobe light so it's already off. It needs to be off. There we go. All right. And we can go ahead and open up our cargo door and put our wheel chalks in place, get our tail prop and main door in, and GSX, and we can request some deep boarding, deep boarding here. requested. All right. And that will... Engines are coming all the way down here. Go ahead and get our heats off here, windshield heats off, uh, get our hydraulics also off, crew oxygen supply can be off, these fuel pumps can also be off, and gin's off, gin's off, gin off, and gin off. Passengers, the boarding starting. Hi, thank you for a wonderful All right. flight. There we go. Thank you for a wonderful flight. The light can also be off. Seatbelt and device signs are also off. All right. That's going to do it for our flight today. 47 minutes from Charlotte over to Myrtle Beach in the ATR 72600. Not bad. I'm pleased as a whole. Again, a few little quirks. Uh, with VNAV, but plane flies pretty good. It's pretty neat. Something different. Uh, Alright, well that's going to do it for today. We'll see you next time. 7-1-6 Delta Mike. See ya.